Did you know that you may not owe any tax on your social security? We're gonna get into those numbers in this video. Some people think that social security is all taxable and then other times we talk to, with people and they think that social security is not taxable at all. The taxes you pay on your social security, your retirement social security benefit are based on how much you earn. So let's get into those numbers right now. In 2018, if you're a single person and you made less than $25,000, you actually owe no money on your social security benefit. If you're a married couple and your combined income is less than $32,000, you would have owed no taxes on your social security benefit as well. Now, once you go over those income brackets, that's when things start to get a little tricky. If you're single and you make between 25,000 and 34,000, you would actually, half of your social security benefit is taxed. If you're married and you make between 32,000 and 44,000, then half of your benefit is taxed. Then it bumps up again. If you're single and you make over $34,000, 85% of your social security is taxable. And if you're married and earned over $44,000 in 2018, then 85% of your social security is taxable. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to pay 85% of your social security benefit to taxes. That means that 85% of it is tax at your tax bracket. Meaning, you make $1,000 in social security, let's say, and 85% of that, so $850, is taxed at whatever your tax bracket is. So if your tax bracket is 22%, well, 850 at 22% is how much you paid. Now here's where this is really important. If you take income out of your retirement plans, that counts towards that 25 or 34 or whatever the different bracket is. So you might wanna think before you take that money out. If right now you're not paying any taxes on your social security benefit, a distribution from your IRA or your 401k might make 85% of it taxable. So this is why you really want to have a tax plan. A lot of people have an investment plan. Sometimes they have a plan for their social security, a plan for their pension, but we rarely see somebody with a tax plan in retirement and tax planning is extremely important because that's going to be one of your biggest expenses and it's very complicated. Most people don't know about things like this and this is just social security. There's different taxes based on capital gains, based on earnings, uh, Roths, Roth contributions. So my recommendation is if you're going into retirement, make sure that you have a plan, not just for the investments, not just for your social security, not just for any other types of retirement plans, but also for the taxes. Because if you just take out, say, $9,000 more than you needed to, you could go from having no taxes owed to having over 85% of your Social Security benefit tax at your tax bracket. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you wanna see more, you can click here to subscribe or you can click right here for a video that YouTube will think is best for you it's their algorithm, don't blame me for it, but I hope you enjoy.